Hello, I'm your host, Jada Brinkley, and this is Tech Talk. Recently, I had the opportunity to speak to an AT&T representative and ask him some questions about new technology AT&T has been innovating. Now, let's introduce our representative. Yeah, my name is Brandon Noble. Uh, my position is Area Retail Sales Manager for the Hampton Roads area. Now that Brandon has told us who he is in his position, let's ask what exactly does his job consist of doing? My responsibilities mainly revolve around uh, sales performance in company owned retail stores as well as operational excellence uh, within that territory. Now let's find out how advanced AT&T's home security is. Um, AT&T's home security called Digital Life is, is one of the most sophisticated on the market. It is, uh, it's very detailed in what it allows the customer to do from um, changing their thermostat to unlocking their door to um, you know, arming and 24-hour monitoring. You know, it can do anything that you want right from your smartphone. Now that's interesting and we'll be right back after these quick commercial breaks. You want to be when you grow up. I want to be a scientist. I want to be a doctor. I want to be an engineer. Our younger students have the right idea. Today's leading careers are involved in science, technology, engineering, and math. Newport News Public Schools has embarked on an aggressive STEM education initiative that prepares students to take full advantage of STEM opportunities in higher education and career fields. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? All right, we are back with Tech Talk, and we would like to know what is the newest cell phone or tablet you have with AT&T for children, teens, and seniors? Most people would say the iPhone is, is where they want to go, so the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, um, those are really popular models with us. Um, I would also say the Samsung Galaxy series of phones, including the Galaxy, the Galaxy Alpha, have been really popular with especially teens due to the photo editing software they have available for them. During my interview with Mr. Noble, I asked what new technology has been introduced to new AT&T customers. Um, as far as new technology, the main focus is on wearables. I think, you know, you've seen Apple come out with a watch. Um, it hasn't been released yet, but um, Samsung has already gone into that market with the Galaxy Gear S. It's a watch that can connect to your smartphone, um, and you can take it with you and make calls, receive calls, get alerts um, without even having your phone on you. So, um, really, the wearable technology sector is, is um, what we see the most advances coming in. Now let's find out some of Brandon's favorite products with AT&T. Um, my favorite products are, I would say the um, HTC M8 is the phone that I use. I love that device. Um, I think it's, it's really great. It does everything that I would like it to do. Um, Digital Life is um, also near and dear to my heart. I love being able to control uh, my home as well as see um, the inside of my house directly from my phone whenever, whenever I want. All of those products sound really interesting, but we'll be right back from a quick commercial. Hi, my name is Barbara Smith, and I'm with the Newport News Public Schools Department of Transportation. At the bus stop, students should stand away from the road in an orderly fashion and always be mindful of other people's property. While on the school bus, students should always behave keeping their hands, heads, and any other objects inside the bus so as not to distract the driver from keeping their eyes on the road. Motors must stop for a school bus and remain stopped until the bus's lights are off and begins to move again. Here at Transportation, our number one objective is the safety of the children. I also asked, can Brandon predict any new technology coming out in the next couple of years with AT&T? This is what he said. Um, I would love to be able to say uh, yes to that question. Um, I think the biggest thing that we really need to focus on going forward is not necessarily the phone because um, you know people come in and want devices. People want the iPhone 6. They want the Galaxy S5, the Galaxy S6 when it comes out. Um, the, big, the big thing for us is really how do we move on to the things that connect to the device, whether it's home monitoring, whether it's a uh, connected watch for alerts, or even a fitness band um, that can track your health and fitness. Um, that's really, I think, what's going to be coming in the next year to two years to three years down the road is the things that connect to the device itself. I also asked Brandon about his career with AT&T and what you should do in order to have a career with AT&T. 
Yeah. Um, so AT&T is a huge company. Um, you know, I've worked for AT&T for 10 years. Um, it's given me the option to be able to um, work in retail sales. I've worked in the business channel. Um, I've held a variety of different roles in the company. Um, but we have other segments as well, like uh, networking. We have training. We have um, a variety of different uh, market segments, like marketing. So I think with anybody um, that's going out of college or you know graduating high school, I think it's a great opportunity to look at AT&T as a potential employer. We're always looking for bright and talented people um, to join the AT&T family. And for our last question, we asked Brendan Noble, why is it that AT&T is leading in the selection of smartphones, smart locators, smart watches, and other wearable devices? Um, I think for customers, customers really want diversity um, in their selection. You know, people want choice. And I think AT&T's always done a great job of that, um, including when we launched the iPhone exclusively in 2007. Uh, it was really giving customers choice in what they choose um, and having the great retail sales consultants at the, at the store to help guide those um, purchasing decisions. That's all the time we have for today, and I'm your host, Jada Brinkley with Tech Talk, and we are signing out.